Sam, could you t could you tell us the genesis of this crazy project? Um, we invited the Foundation Bayer invited Olafur Eliasson, who has a long relationship with the with the museum, uh, to to uh, conceive an exhibition, and um, well, that's what he's come up with. <laughs> so he told you we have to turn down the windows. We have to put water inside the building, and you said, what a good idea, right? Kind of like that, yeah. Tell me, what did he say? Well, um, Olafur, who uh, showed me a picture of the museum, actually, from where we are, and um, some reference work of his, and he said... I, we need, I need to listen to you. Okay. So... Olafur um, showed me a picture he took of the museum, exactly, from where we are. Um, and on this picture, um, you you could see the the glass front of the museum and the the existing pond in front of it, reflecting in it and giving the illusion that the water is continuing inside. And he said, "Why don't I would like to um, invite the park and the life <laughs> into the, uh, life into the museum, and uh, somehow also to to realize." what has now been a visual connection um, but to kind of unite what has always been together nature and cultures are not not separate they are uh, they're united they are one and um, so he said could we uh, uh, raise the, le the water level um, by 10 centimeters and uh, um, take the what separates the inside and the outside away and um, so we have made a feasibility study, it was possible, and we've done it. Wow, but it's not so long. It doesn't last long. July? Until July only? It, uh, it, it lasts the same um, um, three months, like, like every exhibition. What is special with this one is normally an exhibition is uh, installed and later dismantled behind closed walls and you come one day there's an opening date and then it's finished um, in in this one um, we make the process visible so um, visitors could already watch how it's slowly been built up and they'll be able to see um, how how it will disappear and uh, the museum go back to um, to its former stage and so this is why it doesn't have a, a fixed uh, opening and closing date because it's, uh, the process is visible. It also doesn't have um, uh, um, opening hours. It's open at any time of the day, day and night. Yeah, this is great. And uh, so what did Renzo Piano say about the partly de destroying this building? We're so lucky to have such a great architect and friend as Renzo, who was the first one we we uh, um, we um, asked, uh, we presented the project to. He came here, looked at it, and said it's fantastic. Um, I would love to see it happening, and I offer myself as an advisor uh, to the artists to um, the realization. Uh, Olaf Relison and Renzo Piano have spoken and uh, Renzo when he was finished he said beautiful beautiful I'm so happy that my building after a quarter of a century can rest my feet in the water <laughs> and you know I remember now once I was here with Ernst Baylor and he showed me the countryside around and he, he said this is my Saint Victoire <laughs> So this is your water lilies. This is uh, uh, yeah the Giverny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, uh, it is true that um, for Ernst Bayler, um his two big passions were art and nature, and um, his vision, um, which he realized here with Renzo Piano, was to connect to connect through architecture, art and, uh, and nature. But it was, uh, it's very strongly a visual connection. And now what, what Olafur Eliasson has done is a physical connection. It's a connection that you can feel with all your senses. Um, but there's also references to the artistry, like minimal art, land art. Um, sure, uh, sure they are. Yes. Everyone can see what he wants, right? 
Exactly. Um, I think it's such a strong uh, um, art artwork that it doesn't need explanation and interpretation. Um, everyone can see in it uh, what they uh, what they want. And uh, it's also fascinating to see the reaction that different time of the day is a different public. There's time when there's school classes and it's very active. There's there is time for people come more for contemplation, meditation, and in the evening there's young uh, young people they come more to celebrate here. <laughs> Merci.